Target 2. I can calculate and apply unit rates in practical situations. A rate is a special type of ratio comparing different quantities. A, rate, a unit rate is a rate in which the second unit is 1. If we take our first example, 18 people in three vans. That is a rate because we're talking about people and vans. Those are two completely different units. If I want to change it to a unit rate, I need my second number 1. So all I have to do is take, if I want to figure out how many people per van, per one van, I will take my 18 people and divide it by three vans and I know that I will get six people per van. It is, it is very important in unit rates to label your answer. Your answer should say something per something. That shows that our second number is one, six people for every one van. We can use unit rates in comparison shopping. If I go to store A, it sells a 12 ounce box of cereal for $2.54. When I go to store B, I can buy an 18 ounce box of cereal for $3.50. I want to know which store is giving me the better price. What I can do is I can figure out how much I'm paying for one ounce of cereal, and then it's easy to compare. So if, I'm one of figuring, if I want to figure out how much it costs, how many dollars per ounce, What I need to do is I need to take my dollars and per means divide. So that will help me tell what order to divide in. I'll take my dollars and I'll divide by the ounces. So in store A, I'm going to take $2.54 and I will divide it by the 12 ounces. When I do that, I come out with a number that looks like 0.211 and then that 6 repeats. Now I'm talking about money. We want to know money per ounce. So when we talk about money, we need to round to the nearest hundredth, or two numbers after our decimal. So when I have 21 cents, I look at my next number, which was a 1. So it's going to stay 21 cents per ounce. So at store A, I can buy a box of cereal, and it costs me 21 cents per ounce. Now in store B, I want to figure out how much it costs per ounce. So again, I will take my dollars. $3.50 per means divide my ounces, which is 18. When I take $3.50 divided by 18, I get 0.194 and that four repeats. Again, I have to round to the nearest hundredth when I'm talking about money or the nearest penny. So 19 cents and that four is going to keep it 19 cents. So at store B, I am actually buying each ounce for 19 cents, 19 cents per ounce. So if I can compare by the ounce, store A is really selling me 21 cents per ounce. Store B is selling it at only 19 cents per ounce. So store B has the better buy.